Hey, it's Matt. Welcome back. Got another auction tool haul for you here today. This one I got $27 into. So let's see if I made my money back or if it was worth my while. As usual, on the left, we got all of the foreign stuff and then the USA stuff. I think the line is like right around here and goes like this a little. And that's all the US stuff. So, all right, let's start with this stuff over here. Got a pretty much full set of metric and std uh just japan sockets there and i think they're of the same variety and we have some came apart sockets here and uh that is the ratchet that goes with it and if you watch the last video there was the extension that goes with this so i think i have like a pretty full kind of set of kmart stuff and there's even a, an adapter from three eighths to quarter inch in there this is all no-namer stuff, uh, no-name swivel. That's actually pretty tight. It's not, not too bad. Uh, two no-name quarter-inch extensions, a six-inch and a two-inch or three-inch or whatever that is. A little bit adapter, another little adapter, quarter-inch, three-eighths. Two half-inch extensions, no-namers. And then uh, let's look at this. Uh, I guess we got to, whatever, I got to get this out of the way. Screwdriver, Ace, 10 and one whatever, cheapo. Uh, little multi-screwdriver and then we have this little weird tool here anybody know what that is i do so i've uh, used these before and this is uh, a spoke wrench the multi multi-size spoke wrench which we call them but uh, that little thing that little nut that you turn on the spoke that's called a nipple so yep yeah. that's what we got there and then if you recall in the last video, I had a lot of uh, Montgomery Ward sockets, uh, the little power craft ones. And uh, in this lot, I have the quarter inch ratchet and a couple more sockets. So we're going to have to see at the end of the video if I uh, filled in the holes with those sockets from the last video. But I think I had a, a quarter inch, uh, the little breaker bar that goes with this. So I got the ratchet now, the breaker bar and uh two more sockets so this thing works it functions it's actually in pretty decent shape but most of the stuff in here is is not too bad so doing a little bit better on on these auctions as far as quality lately let's take a look at this little stubby ratchet this is a kt so i don't know what that is if anybody knows let me know uh, chrome vanadium japan and uh you know, it doesn't seem like anything special, but uh, it actually feels really nice. I actually like this ratchet. It works. It functions. Uh, I may pull it apart and just clean it up a little bit, re-grease it, but uh, I don't see that I'd have a problem throwing this in my toolbox, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang on to that little little bugger. All right, what else we have? Well, I was talking about that power craft here. This whole strip right here is all power craft. And uh, it's metric 6.3 ace drive. And I have a full set except for the 16 and the 14. So we got, I think, 19 millimeter, and I think I'm missing the 18, yeah. So we got 19, 17, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, and an 8, and I believe a 7 in there. Yep, all the way down to 7 millimeter. Look at that. So, yeah, Japan Powercraft, but uh, I have some standard powercraft 3a socket so i'm gonna put all this powercraft stuff together and uh maybe when i get a smaller toolbox i'll uh, throw all that stuff all in in one box but we'll see uh we'll see about that see what i got in there all right oh and also this is a powercraft 3a extension to go with that so that's definitely cool but I don't know. I don't know the quality of that Powercraft stuff. Uh, I've never used it. If anybody else has ever used it before, let me know. Is it good stuff? Is it not? I don't know. All right. If you remember in the last video too, I had some action stuff, and the action was made by Thorson. I believe I said it was like 1957 or 1953 or somewhere around there. I think it was 57. They started making these. Just a branch of. Of Thorson tools and uh, I think I had the a ratchet a quarter inch ratchet action ratchet and uh, this is the little breaker bar to go with that 
and there's also some more sockets with it. So I have three double square sockets and a 3 16 socket. So we have to see at the end of the video if I filled in any holes there and if I got uh, closer to a set. Also have some Indestro sockets here. And again, in the last video, Indestro Super, I had some of those sockets in there, so we'll have to see. And those also came with some double squares over there. I have some just USA sockets. That's all they say on them is the size in USA. And uh, I have some metrics and then some two standards. I have a Husky quarter inch to three eighths adapter. And that is that kind of mid-century font on there. We have this little mystery socket. It has some electrical tape on it. I think I just briefly peeked and saw it, so I kind of kind of know what that is, but we'll unwrap that together. Uh, Husky, quarter inch. I, it's black. I don't know if that's an impact. I'll have to look it up to just to be sure that that's an impact socket or impact extension. Uh, and this is a crescent. Again, a black. I don't know if that means that it's a impact or not. It's kind of glossy black. You know, it doesn't look like an impact, your typical impact extension, but I'll have to look it up, make sure. You have this strip here, missing the little thing. That one does go with it. It's all They're all the same. Uh, we got some Stanley Professional little screwdriver bits on this rail. So I'll get another little thingy on there and put that on it. And I, I don't know, I've had... A couple of sets of these and I rarely ever use them so I'll probably end up selling that who knows all right let's get to the craftsman stuff just three craftsman sockets I have a 16 millimeter 3 s drive and an 11 millimeter 3 s drive that 16 millimeter is a six point and I already looked in my box so I don't have a 16 millimeter six point shallow 3 s drive so that's gonna fill a hole definitely in my box that 11 millimeter is scratched up, and the one that I have in my box right now is actually pretty nice. So I might put that one in my box for just to use, and uh, put that nicer one in a set to maybe sell. And I'll hang on to the to the worn used one. Got an eight millimeter VV with the knurling on the top of it. So I'll have to see if that fills in a hole in any set that I have. And let's unwrap this thing here. I think I know what it is, but it's got electrical tape around it, and you just barely see peeking through the bottom, and I just caught a glance, so I kind of ruined it for myself, but let's take this tape off of here and see what we got hiding underneath this, see if it's anything special. Yeah, it's a Craftsman. Oh, that thing is sticky. I shouldn't have taken this off live on camera. Now my fingers are all full of... Yeah, it's Craftsman G, uh, half inch, and uh, yeah, I don't know why the tape was around it. It's pretty stiff. Maybe they're just trying to stiffen it up a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's in good shape. Probably only used that one time they put the tape on it, but uh, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Why not? Why not? All right. He has some Indestro sockets over here, and in the last video I got a set of Indestro, and I had all of the larger sizes. And uh, I think these two fill in a couple of holes in the large size, and then we got some coming down here. So I got some holes to fill in down to a 7 16 and, you know, if you have some half-inch drive sets, the 7 16 is uh, not too common to have. I mean, they're, they're around, but uh, you usually don't find a 7 16 in a half-inch drive. I don't think they come like standard in a kit. You have to get it, you know, separate from from a kit. So, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, this one here is an Indestro, is it a Super or Select? It's an Indestro Select, and it's a 1930 second, so it does not belong with this set because those are just regular Indestro. So I'll have to see if I have some other Select sockets that that goes with. And uh, 19 30 seconds again is not a common size to go in a set that's kind of an extra thing or an older thing. Those sizes were more common back in the day. So it doesn't really, don't really need it to be in this set. So I pretty much have a full set. I think I looked at those. We'll look at it together at the end of the video, but I think the only thing I'm missing out of that set is a 9 16 So that's cool. And I guess we'll talk about the ratchet. Why don't we get into that? It, 
It is an Indestro 6472, and it's in fairly decent shape. Looks good, just use some cleaning up, a little bit of surface rust on it, but it's not a bad ratchet. A little bit gunky, but it functions. Switches over good, sounds good, ratchet's good. Um, it's a little sloppy, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what I'd get for that. I don't really know what this industrial stuff doesn't seem to be sell that, you know, it doesn't command a high price, at least from what I've seen. Um, if any of you guys have ever used Industro, you know, I don't know if they were a cheaper brand, if they weren't uh, too popular. I've really never used any of the sockets, I don't think. So I'm not sure of the quality of Industro, but and I never even really heard of it until I started doing this. So now I have a lot of industrial stuff. I swear if the second most sockets that I have of other than Craftsman is Industro. So now I got some more. All right. What else we have here? I got that. I got that. I talked about that. I didn't talk about these back here. Those are uh, all companion. And again, if you watched the last video, I had some of these sockets in there. So I think I have some holes to fill in these and then that's the WF the right field so these were made for Sears and I think they were their economy brand uh, sockets so I have six point deep and some uh, 12 point shallow and I think these are yeah these are standard so I think I had a couple of sockets to fill in some holes in there all right, one more and then we'll get to the exciting stuff. We got a Williams impact socket, 11 sixteenths, and I think I had two other Williams impact sockets in the last video. So, you know, I only had two of them, so I probably won't do that in the wrap up, but uh, another impact socket to add to it. All right, what are these two down here? We got some old ones in here, and this is what I look for. So let's take a look at these here. And if you collect tools, you'll know what brand this is, but I had a hunch of what it was, but it took me a little while to figure it out because I sold all my other sockets that I had of this brand a while ago, and I regret it, but something clicked in my head, and I was like, yeah, I think I know what those are. Sure enough, these are old Husky sockets. So this is like the first of the first, and uh, Husky was formed in 1924 in Milwaukee, and those guys came over from Snap-on, allegedly, and started up Husky. And I think their tenure here in Milwaukee was short-lived. I think they got bought out by someone else or something, and Husky has just been tossed around for a long time. But this was one of the first. So this could have possibly been made in 1924, so in about a year, this thing's going to be 100 years old. So I'm going to add this to my collection of local stuff with the Milwaukee Tool and Forge and the Snap-on stuff. Definitely cool. And uh, it has a buddy down here. It's got a 7 sixteenths hex. So, and that's the way... They did it. There's no, some, I've had some sockets that had an H on them. Uh, I think it said HT possibly. I can't remember. I sold them. I regret selling them. I, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Same with that, those old plum sockets that I had. But I have had some of these before. Got rid of them. But you can see, it says S3 Ace and then SQ square drive underneath it and then the hex one has a t 7 16 and then it says hex so if you ever see any sockets like that those are husky and uh they are old so let's uh get this cleaned up here and i will see if i can fill any holes in any of these so stay tuned 
All right, let's check out the holes we filled today. Got that uh, Montgomery Ward set. I put it in that little case that I got in the last video. I don't know if it goes in there, if it belongs in it. I'm going to take a look on, on the interwebs there and, and see if I can type in Powercraft and if this case comes up, if I see anything. But uh, I got those two double squares that we got in this video and uh, the little breaker bar in there. Put it in there with the ratchet, or I think I got the ratchet in this view. I forget, whatever. It's mix match between that the action stuff or whatever. But uh, yeah, so missing some sockets in the set, but uh, we're on our way there. You know, we're we're getting there. I got that spare seven sixteenths in there, but figured I'd just throw those in that in that box. Up here we have that companion set, and in the last video I got that three quarter, so we'll move that right over there into there. And we got three quarter all the way down to three eighths. We're not missing any in between there. So got a pretty full set there. And then uh, we got this, what was that, a seven eighths? Yeah, seven eighths in the last video. So we'll bump that right up on there. And uh, we're missing the half inch in that set. So we got it all the way down from seven eighths to three eighths. But just missing the half inch. So. I don't know, I might hang out a little bit, wait around for that half inch, see if I can fill that hole. Otherwise, I'll probably just sell this set instead of hanging out just for that one socket. I'll just sell it, you know, missing missing that one. All right, we got some Indestro here. We, you remember the quarter inch ones? I got, uh, I believe in this video, I got this bottom four here. So we'll fill in some holes, kind of complete this set, but... Uh, I think I'm missing uh, the quarter inch in there. So definitely a quarter inch and the 930 seconds we're missing in that set. But, you know, we got three of the double squares, so put that set together. We'll probably hang out and wait on that one, see what, what kind of holes we fill later on. And then I had that really oddball uh, 19, 30 seconds industrial select. And I had another socket in my box. Had a three quarter so that, I'll put that one with that, and we'll start building that set there. And then we have this set. I got all of these in that last video, and I'm missing a couple in between here. Uh, but uh, we're definitely going to fill in some holes, and I think we're missing the 9 sixteenths down on the bottom end here. So pretty much from the, the 15 sixteenths on down. Is that a 15 sixteenths? Yeah, the 15 sixteenths on down. We got a pretty full set, except for that 9 sixteenths. And I think we're missing the uh, one inch here. We got an inch and a sixteenth, so we're getting there on this one too. So what do you think? Did I do all right? Twenty-seven bucks for all of this stuff. I I think I did pretty good. Let me know. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.